You want to open it? Open. Open. <laughs> to show like god knows the desires of your heart even things that aren't even voiced look at him mommy smiling <laughs> i kissed Aww. you it's giving white like i don't know what else to tell you like here's how the chimchurri looks so i'm just gonna put this all over this it what's up y'all welcome to another weekly vlog we are starting this weekly vlog in the car because my diamond came in y'all and we are on our way to go look at it to go make sure everything is good to make sure everything is golden i'm so excited i get to start this vlog off here because we left last week off at this point Ooh. my girl ebony called my husband very much husband this morning and she was like it just came in so come check it out make sure it's everything you want so that's what we're about to do i'm so excited and on top of that me and my mother-in-law are getting our nose pierced i know i was playing with y'all last vlog saying i was getting my nose pierced but i actually am this time because we'll have the time last vlog it was just uh, it was a lot going on girl we didn't have the time to do that so i'm gonna be getting my nose pierced my mother-in-law's gonna be getting her nose pierced with me and then we're gonna get Genesis ears pierced so it's a lot of piercings going on in this vlog it is currently December 23rd it is almost Christmas and I feel like we're finally wrapping up all the Christmas shopping me and Javon have been going in for like the past couple weeks just buying a whole bunch of stuff so I'm kind of glad to just put a close to the, the purchasing because December always gets a little tricky when it comes to the spending I don't know if I showed you guys last vlog Javon ended up getting a watch that he wanted and that was his Christmas gift do you have it on because I'm getting my <laughs> other one fixed I'm wearing that one today so he got a Movado watch and it is gorgeous. It's so sleek, it's so elegant, it's just so timeless. I'll show you guys when we get home. So that ended up being his Christmas gift, but I also got him something that I'm gonna show y'all before I show him. I forgot about that. Did you keep, you keep saying you got this the gift that you were excited about? I am, I'm super excited about it. I feel like it's very much the very much. And then my gift is obviously <laughs> the rock. So, <laughs> I'm just so excited, y'all. Like, you guys know, I was getting mushy gushy on the other vlog. Oh, shit. I should have parked here. But it is just like a blessing to be at this point where we can upgrade my ring. And it's just. I'm so happy like I'm so happy I feel like this is everything I wanted in my ring and more okay very much more so we're about to go in and check it out see what's good my mother-in-law is here like I said we got Jenna in the car we got Ezra in the car it's like the whole family's here so let's go in and just see what's good all right Duna has been doing us right oh, I love the Duna going to a mall the weekend of Christmas is a very brave event it is literally so packed, I cannot. Jenna's walking on her own now, so it's like a whole thing. I be seeing why people be putting their kids on leashes. I'm not about to lie, because the way Genesis just be missing, like, she could definitely go on a little leash, a little backpack. I used to be making fun of the little palm-colored folks, but Becky might have been onto something because people be snatching up kids these days. I brought my mask, too. Go, Jenna, go, Jenna, go. Go, Jenna, go, Jenna, go. Now hold on to daddy's hand. I got you. Come on. Uh, you know, I'm going to end up hearing you because it's going to take forever to get to where we're going. <laughs> Great job, so we just got here and I'm super excited. I'm waiting on Ebony, but I'm just looking at all the rings and I'm just like, I'm so confident that I made the right decision with like my shape, with the size, just with everything. I just feel really, really good about it. So I'm super excited. And like I told y'all, I think next week we're gonna end up going to get my band from that other jeweler. It's either gonna be that jeweler or possibly Brilliant Earth. I don't know if you guys have heard of them, but it's a really nice jeweler in Atlanta. So it's either gonna be Brilliant Earth or that local jeweler that I went to last weekend. Oh, hello, hello. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Yay! Yes! Ooh. It is gorgeous! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! And honestly, I can just lay it on your hand. So I'm sorry for touching it, but no, I just wanted you to get an idea. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. And imagine how yes. it's gonna look. Yes. 
It's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's everything, yeah. 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 Dump it. Dumping diamonds. <laughs> it's perfect. It's flawless. It's sparkly. It's giving a girls what it needs to give. I'm so excited. Jenna, are you excited for me? Because I'm excited for me. Bo, how you feel? I feel good. You know, I was just over here just thanking God, man, for blessing us this year. You so happy. Yeah. Smiling cheeks. It's like they hurt a little bit. Like you cramping up, baby. <laughs> In the cheeks. No, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to be able to. Thank you, Bo. I'm excited. Look at now she throwing a fit. Operation get my nose. Y'all, we're in a um, jewelry, another jewelry spa. Javon's getting his watch fixed, but it just didn't work out with the whole piercing situation. We walked in there and the vibes girl was just very much the. The girls We've been watching a lot of that vibe. We married at first sight, and so no, we just don't have a was... lot of patience for Alyssa's. No, her... Alyssa. if y'all have watched Married at First Sight and you know Alyssa's vibe, the girl who was going to pierce us was it was Alyssa's vibe. It was just very like not accommodating, not customer service, like not making us feel comfortable. And I'm about to get Genesis ears pierced, like my baby's ears pierced. I want it to be somebody who's friendly, who's nice, who's like bubbly, like not somebody who's just mad. So I was like, we will definitely find somewhere else to go. Um, I feel like all the odds are stacked against me with getting this nose piercing. <laughs> it has definitely been a whole runaround, but I am going to get it pierced this vlog. Just who knows what. Also kind of don't want to do it in the mall. The mall is just like driving me nuts at this point. I'm really, really over it and I just want to get out of here. So once we get his watch, then we can go ahead and um, get a move on. But yeah, girl, I'm just like kind of disappointed because I wanted to get it done. But then also like I walked in and you know usually they'll be like okay yeah pick out like your stud you know here's what we can do she was just like i have three people ahead of you okay i'll be taking my business elsewhere <laughs> i don't know i just i just don't understand the vibe of just unfriendly people because i'm a friendly person but whatever it is what it is i guess it just wasn't meant to be but we're gonna look at a little bit of jewelry over here i kind of don't really have the inclination to get anything else i'm not really a stud girl so i don't see the reason why i should get some studs but when you get around some jewelry you just start wanting to buy stuff so that's why i need to get up out this mall 60 percent off he told us 70. yeah <laughs> <laughs> are these real diamonds yes these ones yes everything real everything real well, I don't need a ring. Maybe like a little. Or necklace? Can I show you? Leah, well, let me see your necklace. Yeah. Okay. Oh, earrings! Y'all got earrings too. Girl, see now I'm on this whole jewelry kick. I don't even like. I don't like studs, so I'm not quite sure. Let's see what Javon's got going on. Okay. Well, I just got a necklace, bro. I really want some earrings for my daughter. Look at those little small studs, Javon. Whoa. Can I see these little tiny ones for my baby? Are these real diamonds? Yes. Okay. Uh, they do this one. Look at this one. Too. Do you have pink diamonds or? Oh, that's kind of cute with the gold. That's really Javon, look at these for Genesis. Oh, that's nice. Those are cute. It's on sale price. What's the sale price? Two hundred seventy-five dollars. That's for diamonds with those. How many carrots? Two hundred carrots. Sorry. What's up, y'all? We finally just got home, and I forgot to tell y'all that we actually broke fast yesterday. So I broke fast with some kava, but in the kava. Girl, I got me some chicken. I know I said I was about to be on this whole little pescatarian, vegan, vegan, vegan. But that chicken was called my name and I felt like I deserved it. So scratch the whole vegan thing. <laughs> what we're doing is conscious eating. We're reading labels. We're watching our sugar intake, our sodium intake. We're not counting calories because they never gave obsession, but we are just gonna become conscious with what we're consuming. So I wanna show you guys some of my faves from Aldi that I picked up. We've been shopping at Sprouts as of recently, and I've been crying every single day because Sprouts is so expensive. Their food is very quality, and it is, you know, organics and all the things. But I feel like you can also find some of those products at Aldi, which is a significantly cheaper store, but you have 
the same quality and the same ingredients. Are you all done? She's calling for her dad. Do y'all hear her? He's upstairs, Jenna. I want to show you guys an example of a toddler meal first and also how she touched none of it. So we have some chicken, some white rice, some lentil beans, and some bananas. And she literally did not touch any of it, y'all. If anybody else has been having this struggle, what do you do? Because she literally doesn't eat her food. She'll just drink her bottles. She literally will eat like one banana a day. I don't understand. Like we make her three meals a day and she will pick at every single meal. When she used to just go in and go ham, like it's very frustrating because I'm like, I feel like she's not eating. I feel like she's not getting the nutrients she needs, but the sis is looking fine. Like she doesn't care. So I don't know. It's just a super frustrating thing I've been trying to deal with, but let's get into these Aldi finds. Hold on. So somebody in my comments actually recommended their orange juice, but it has to be the organic orange juice because the only ingredient on it is orange juice, organic orange juice. There's no preservatives. There's none of that extra stuff. I think the game really changed for me when I started reading ingredients because when you really see what's in food, it's crazy. And we're in this whole era of like our body is a temple. We want to make sure we are nourishing the temple of the Holy Spirit. Like that's really the vibe. I really am trying to be conscious of what I put in my body. And as I'm starting my workout journey, literally the first week of January, which is in two weeks, I want to make sure that I'm also putting that same effort and that same work and that same energy into the kitchen. So yeah, next up we have some sea salt popcorn, non-GMO, very simple or the ingredients are organic popcorn organic organic sunflower oil and sea salt so very simple three ingredients keep it cute keep it classy keep it moving these are my favorite juices oh my gosh if you're looking for a good green juice because green juice usually tastes like mm -mm, not good but this is bomb it's cold pressed green juice and i think i'm gonna be in i think i want to start I think I want to start juicing in 2024. So if you guys have good juicer recommendations, leave that down below because I need to purchase a juicer. But all that is in here is organic apple juice, mango puree, organic banana puree, organic cucumber juice, organic lemon juice, organic kale juice, organic spinach juice, organic spirilla. I never know how to pronounce that powder and organic barley grass powder. So it's all organic juice in this. This is like a really, and it tastes good y'all. Like I promise you this tastes bomb. And it is affordable. It's only like two or three dollars. Usually green juices are like eight dollars. Then there are vitamin shots, y'all. Whether it's the vitamin C, the elderberry, or I have usually get the turmeric one too, but I guess I didn't get it. They have a turmeric one. But that's also why I want to start juicing because I can make my own shots because these are like 169. And if you just go buy the ingredients, you can make a whole bunch for way less. But these shots are good if you're just quick on the go. And especially with us getting sick, because Genesis is sick and we have a little cold, I really want to knock back this little elderberry. Oh, no. I don't think that good, but it's good for you. And then another thing I'll say is all their produce. Aldi has really good produce. You just have to make sure that you look at it, because sometimes they just be looking a little sus, and you need to pick through and find a good one but their produce is gonna be the same as like the Kroger's, same as like the Publix. Well, I wouldn't say Publix, because Publix got real, real good produce, but it's not at the level of like Whole Foods and Sprouts, but it's gonna be as good as any other retailer like Kroger, Walmart, anywhere like that. So it's gonna be the same, Target, like they're all through the same manufacturer, so you might as well get it for a cheaper price over at Aldi. And then they're dark chocolate covered almonds. Before this fast, y'all, I remember accidentally getting these. I thought they were milk chocolate. I tasted it and literally gagged. I was like, this is disgusting. Why did I get dark chocolate? I meant to get milk chocolate. After I got off this fast, I tried this, I was like, this is the best thing I've ever ate in my life. And that just goes to show how you can manipulate your taste buds. Like we are so conditioned to processed sugar, high fructose corn syrup, preservatives, so much stuff, that when you start eating good, it resets your taste buds. So this is another find from Aldi. Yeah. But I'm about to put all these groceries away today. Yep, update on Javon's finger, give him the update. So basically. You got your stitches out. And I thought that this was going to reattach itself. I didn't know that I this, think it's going to fall off. That this falls off. I didn't know that. I thought it was going to reattach. But also me and my man, my man, my man went on a date night yesterday. I didn't film it because I was trying to be very much present. Very much present. But it was bomb. We went ice skating. And... She felt you tell him that you fell? <laughs> no, I was really trying to put in work, though. I'm like, Javon, are your ankles not burning? Like, this is a whole cardio workout. Oh, 
off, but it was so fun. Tomorrow we're gonna do like a Christmas Eve brunch. We might be going to church and then we're hosting Christmas dinner. Tonight we need to wrap gifts though. So that's up next. Let me put these groceries away and then I'll pick up back when um, we start wrapping these gifts because I really need to get that now. We did like a little Christmas Eve brunch. It was really good. Javon ended up cooking and we've been chilling watching Married First Sight ever since. Like we married at first sight ever since. It's been a really, really chill Christmas Eve. But I literally told y'all last vlog, I did not want to be the one to late wait last minute to wrap Christmas gifts. But guess what we're doing? We're literally doing exactly that. I feel like I've been on a roll, but then I took a break. I've got this much done so far. These are all Genesis Christmas gifts. My mother-in-law's Christmas gifts over here another one of Jenna's and we still have so much more to wrap but I want to show you guys some of the stuff I got her so Jenna's big Christmas gifts are her play kitchen that Javon has to set up so we'll set that up tonight then we've got her a car that we have to set up we got her 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 Gigi got her a um like what is it a mixing board yeah DJ, DJ board. a little DJ, DJ board I'm thinking of all her big gifts this girl's like literally about to have the best Christmas ever. I know she's about to be more concerned with the wrapping paper tomorrow. I just know it. I know Genesis. She's going to look at the gifts, smile, and then play with the wrapping paper. But it's okay. <laughs> um, so to go along with all her like kitchen stuff, I got her some toy pizza. Keeping it real cute. These are stuff I got at Marshall's. This little toy set of food. I've also wrapped some of the other food stuff I've got her. A little toaster. I really should have got her that little broom and mop. Did, did I ever show you yeah. that? Javon said she wouldn't have played with it, but I feel like she would have. She would have. Javon got her this. This is the foldable farmhouse. But we'll do a whole Christmas haul tomorrow when she unwraps everything because so much stuff is already wrapped up. But she is going to have a really, really good Christmas. I've also found out I'm a horrible gift wrapper. I've been over here struggling, y'all. I cannot lie. But I got this cute little wrapping paper for her so her stuff is going to be the princess stuff um ezra has like a gray one and then i'm going to do everybody else's in like this candy cane one but yeah girl all i'm doing is wrapping gifts like there is nothing fun going on we might be like playing games tonight and just chilling out as a family but right now i really need to tackle these gifts but i am going to make some vegan steak fries so tune in tune in girl i'm gonna give you a little recipe yeah i'll catch y'all up a little bit later <laughs> overstimulating thing I've ever done but somehow I got all those gifts wrapped I'm gonna show you when I'm done cooking but we're gonna be making some vegan steak fries my steak fries are bomb but we're gonna be doing it the vegan way with some beyond steak tips girl no I don't know why I'm trying to do the vegan thing so cuz I definitely I definitely ate some bomb lamb last night Javon made it was so good but we're gonna chop up our potatoes I probably gotta feed Ezra, so it's giving intermission. We're just gonna make them fry shaped. I'm honestly like not good at chopping up vegetables, but it is what it is, girl. Basically, I make like a really good chimchurri, and then I load them up with like cheese. Javon grabs some vegan cheese, beans, um, a lot of cheese, girl, a lot of cheese. But hold on, girl, cause I gotta feed Ezra. Hold on, my son. I got you. Okay. Are you hungry? All right, let's eat. Let's eat. 
All right, so cooking with the graves here, a little remix, a little vamp. Um, Javon took over the chopping because it really wasn't my vibe. This is a shirt from when I used to do promotion for Bacardi. It was before, you know, before the Lord. Because why are you out here promoting, promoting when you need to be promoting, promoting? Parsley, cilantro, garlic, purple onions. You can season the steak this steak. Um, so for the chimchurri, y'all, all you do, chop this up, chop this up, chop this up, put it in a bowl, garlic, Worcestershire, olive oil, season it to your liking, and that's it. I'm not one to give y'all measurements. I'm not one to really give y'all step-by-step directions. It is what it is. All right, y'all, and here we've got parsley. Also, update on the nails from last week. Three have fallen off. So, yeah, we're gonna redo them tomorrow. We got parsley, we got cilantro, and we have the um, red onions. We're gonna just douse her. Give her a good douse. You want, this is like the base. So, give her a good douse of the olive. Good douse of the shire. Hey, y'all, uh, her chip cherry is mad good. Go have man, triple that good. I know. A good douse of the, dang, of the garlic. Half of a lemon squeezed. I should use my lemon squeezer, but it's not at my disposal at the moment. Now just see where we're at with like it liquid wise. And this is not liquidy enough. So that means more olive oil or a little bit more shire. This is good, I'm buying a lot more of these. And a little bit more olive oil. And this well, is I'm, so I'm good on like steaks. And it'll get more liquidy when you let it sit for like 30 minutes. But this is kind of where we want to be at consistency wise. Not straight liquid, but this is good. And then we're gonna season with just some fancy salt here. Just a pinch of that. And then you let this sit and it'll kind of liquefy a little bit and it's like the perfect topping to shrimp. I like it on steak, but I really love it on steak fries. So that's my chimchurri. Process. This is the Beyond Steak. It doesn't look horrible. It's convincing. Um, so my whole theory, or not my whole theory, like for me right now, like I told y'all, it's just giving conscious eating. I've let go of the vegan thing. Javon made some lamb and it just kind of opened my eyes to the possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> I was swear, I'm like vegan life. It just, I just like how vegan sounds. Like you go out and about and someone be like, oh, like, do you want to eat some of this? I'm like, no, I'm vegan. Like I can't do it. <laughs> be difficult like I just wanted that aura about me but <laughs> it's not gonna happen so there's where we're at y'all um we're gonna throw these fries in the oven and then I'll show you how I garnish them with all the toppings When I make this regular, I use regular cheese and um, like the liquid toasted cheese. But this is what it looks like when you're trying to be healthy. The cheese doesn't even melt. It's very suspicious. Here's how the chimchurri looks. So I'm just gonna put this all over this. It is so good. This is like one of my favorite quick little meals. It's just bomb. Like I love a good steak fry. I will say the little vegan steak is surprisingly better than I thought but here's how they look. It usually looks way better, but I think it's still, it's still a lie. All right, y'all, so it is Christmas Eve night. Tomorrow is Christmas morning, so we're gonna eat, we're gonna chill, we're gonna just watch movies and wake up and open gifts. Here's how all the gifts are looking. I have been putting in so much work, so clearly Genesis has the bulk of gifts. I still have to wrap Ezra's. Then we've got my mother-in-law over here, some of my friends over here. So it's just, it's a lot. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Merry Christmas.
け言うずっとハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
shiny. Those are pretty. You like them? You do? Okay, good. She's mega blonde. And plays music. Yeah, see? Whoa. Xylophone? I think it, you can hit a, um, and it plays music, Jenna. Right. Look at this one. Oh! See, <laughs> where Dada got you. Ooh. Say Dada. That's from Dada. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Say thank you. Say thank you, Dada. Say thank you. Ooh, she like making music. She making music. So here's how it looks, Jenna. You got this farmhouse. You got all these farm animals. Jenna, look. Jenna. Is that all part of the ah, big game? Yeah. Look at her. <laughs> this, Jenna, I'm telling you, you got this big gift coming up with all these little onions and all these little corns. Oh, yum. Eggplant, tomato, mm, yum. Carrots. Oh, Jenna. Look, Jenna, you can even chop them with your knife when you go, oh, I want to make something, so I'm going to chop it with Ooh. my knife. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Jenna, there's more. <laughs> pizza. More, more pizza. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry yeah, Christmas. Merry Christmas. You too. We need to get a sign for her restaurant. Wow. Jenna. Wow. Jenna. Wow. We need a sign for her restaurant. Jenna, all this food, because you're going to be opening up your restaurant soon. So I wanted to invest in your restaurant and get you all these food. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all your food. Ooh. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. You got a tea kettle. You got teacups, so we can do teacups. Pots and pans. Mmm, Jenna. You can make me hamburgers. What if I want a hamburger with no lettuce? Then you can take the lettuce off. Oh. But what if I want a hamburger with lettuce? You gotta put it back on for me. Off and everything. Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't know they pop uh -oh. out like this. Watch this. Hey, sis. Ready? Jenna. Merry Christmas to you, too. Yes. Oh, Jenna. She can't even reach up here. Oh, you can wash hands. <laughs> and then you got your little, your bar right here. Yes. So this is the table? This is her table. Okay. So she can just pull out her little chair. Right. Sit right here and eat the oh. meal she prepared. Look, she brings it down. You can open, or can you open it? Yeah, you can. Oh, look. And you can store all, so we can store all your food. We gotta put all your food in the refrigerator. She got ice. Moved this she got ice right here. Oh, look, ice! Oh, Jenna! <laughs> ice comes out of there. You need a cup. Ooh. Ice. You got ice. You need some. You need some juice. This is gonna make you so can I, smart. Can I have some apple? You know what to do can I have some stuff? apple juice? Oh yeah, we can store all our stuff in there. <laughs> That's her. what I'm saying. Okay, y'all. Jenna's Christmas was a success. She loves her kitchen. That is like her literal favorite gift. She's been playing with it. But Javon's about to open up his gift, so I want to show y'all what I got him because I'm super proud of it. And I feel like it was very much thoughtful. So let's see what he got. Flip it over. Oh. <laughs> It's got lyrics all over Maya, from yeah, Holy yeah. Spirit. <laughs> How'd you get, where'd you get this from? Maya, I know my ways. That's the I'll put it in the studio. I know. It actually might take that spot where the uh, lion is for, for So this is the front of the I'll... album, the back of the album, the release date, song date. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's dope. That's it. dope. Thank you, babe. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, Please, we need to hurry up because I need to put some new nails on. Y'all, I don't know how I always do it, but somehow 
Like, your girl is always just gonna be running behind. It just, it is what it is. It doesn't matter how much I plan. Like, okay, if I gotta be ready by five, that means I need to be up by two. It means I need to be cooking by three. Like, I did the whole thing and still somehow I am frantic. Also, getting into the bald in the face. I'm out of lashes and I'm crying. Of course, I would be on Christmas, but <laughs> it just is what it is. So today, my best friend and her husband are coming over and then, of course, we just have the fam here. So it's gonna be low key. It's not anything huge where I'm like, needing to be the glam girl but i'm still trying to look cute like, i'm just gonna do a light everyday makeup look y'all know my makeup look y'all know y'all know what i do <laughs> like we've been here one too many times so i'm just gonna do my makeup real quick and then i'm gonna fix up my hair and i will get dressed with y'all i have this little pretty um white dress that i'm gonna be wearing genesis is wearing red javon is wearing red ezra's wearing white and red so that's kind of the vibe we're going for and we still need to take sub christmas pictures in front of the tree so i think when we all get dressed we'll zoom that but girl i was stressing out about this menu i don't know why usually i'm so like proactive and like super super prepped and planned but this go around maybe just because like the newborn life but child i'm over here like we're out of eggs and i was supposed to make deviled eggs so that was a whole thing Luckily, my best friend has four, and we have two, so we're only going to be having 14 devil eggs, but it's better than nothing. I just don't understand why I was so unprepared, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, girl, it's okay, we're going to get through it. I am excited. I think tonight's going to be fun, it's going to be low-key, it's just going to be a vibe, it's going to be vibe, so I'll catch up with y'all when we get dressed, but right now we need to get this thing in motion. Hey, y'all, so here's the dress. It's very, like, winter, just hostess with the mostest so let me go ahead and try this one i got it from fashion nova girl i've been a fashion nova type of girl as of recently well it was really their black friday sale but hopefully it fits me and hopefully i can still wear a nursing bra okay that's actually pretty i like it what do you guys think i think it's cute and i still have a nursing bra on <laughs> so it's a win-win for me oh this is cute i think i'm gonna do silver accessories y'all know this is my new scent so Put that on the Bottega dupes. Let's put those on. These are the silver ones. Also, look, hello. I did my nails so fast, but they're actually super cute. I'm glad I did them because I was about to be looking crazy. Javon's about to get dressed now, and then I'm gonna go in the kitchen and finish up what I was doing. A little vibe. I love these nails. These are so cute. This bracelet. This is what we're gonna wear. Yeah, I did my nails so fast. Aren't they cute? Oh yeah. That's so cute. Oh, that's good. All right, y'all. So here's the fit. Let's go finish up. Um, I have to put the toppings on the fruit pizza, and then I've got to pop the um, turkey in the oven to warm up, and then the sandwich right, in yeah. the oven. You did. Let's go host Christmas. So my father-in-law is the one who put me on to fruit pizza. It is literally like the best dessert I've ever had. Oh wait, I need like some type of. So this is a baked sugar cookie. That's like the crust. This is cream cheese, Cool Whip, um, powdered sugar, vanilla. It's like the topping. It's so good, it's so creamy, it's so sweet. If you like a fresh, like just fresh type of dessert, this is so good. Oh my gosh, y'all, like I literally, every holiday I make this now, it is my favorite, favorite, favorite dessert. But then you're gonna spread that all on there and just load it up with fruit. like. Sliced strawberries, sliced kiwi, blueberries, raspberry, like blackberries, everything. And it is literally the best thing ever. Like you have to try this. Even if you try like a personalized like little one, I always make it huge because I'm making it for a lot of people. But even if you make it like small for yourself, you have to try this. It is so good. So you bake the cookie, put it in the oven, let it cool, make the topping, put the topping on there, load it up with fruit and put it in the fridge for a couple hours. Chef's kiss. I mean, like, literally, so good. I'm telling you. It is so good. Like, so, so good. If there's one dessert, you try to make, girl. Try to make this. And it's super easy. But everything's almost done. I'm doing some last-minute touches. And then Eva and her husband are going to pull up. So I'm super excited. Everything turned out really, really good. We ended up having turkey, salmon, they're bringing the mac and cheese. We did some roasted vegetables. And I was going to make the devil eggs, but y'all know what happened with that. 
So it just is what it is, but I'm super excited. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for family and friends. Uh, we thank you just for everything that you are today. Lord God, we just want to make sure that we lift you up and honor you all around the world. We just pray for protection over um, our churches, our pastors, um, all the saints across the world. We pray for those who don't have um, that you have and fill them up with the peace, and fill them up with the spirit of joy, uh, regardless of what it is, Lord, that everyone's grateful for something. Uh, we thank you for our friends, Taylor and Eva, and for her help. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that you just keep them covered um, and the blood keep them protected or keep them strengthened um, in all aspects of their family and in their marriage. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you for bringing us together. We pray for our children. Um, we ask that this will give us nourishment to our bodies um, and joy as we spend time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> I can cheese this bomb. Wait till y'all have this dessert, though. I'm telling you. Yeah. You're going to love it. Like, you're going to love it. It's going to be your next go-to. Because it's fresh, but it's, like, sweet and just cold. So good. <laughs> Jenna, you're giving mixed signals. Okay. I kissed you. Look at her mommy smiling. I kissed you. <laughs> What? You're so perfect oh. to me. Oh, I he kissed so you. Good. Listen, I found a picture of Genesis when she was probably like five months. She had like literally three strands of hair. And it was in a ponytail. I'm like, what were oh, we trying to so do? Funny. Yes. But her hair grew in fast and like full all over. She literally has my same exact hair. It's so funny. Now let's open your gift. Come on, Jenna. Oh, y'all know how to rap gifts, for real. Let's open. Let's open. Ah, what is it? Is. Oh, that's hard. What is it? Oh, what I got is the headphones. Level too. up gaming chair. <laughs> A gaming chair. That's hard. That's so cute. She's got one. It's a tie. Yeah, it's a tie. Oh, that's nice. She got one already? No, not one of these. Oh, it's a beat, like a beat for all oh, a game tablet with LED. She can eat it's a gaming chair. Oh, that's hard. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. You want to open it? Open. Open? Open. That's so cute. You want to open it? Open. 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 After Christmas, and I was just in my little worship. I've honestly been loving the song Evidence um, with Naomi. It just like pulls at the heart. I was listening to it yesterday after like the whole, you know, get together and everything. I'm just like, I literally have evidence. Like, if I ever doubt if I ever fear like I just really need to look up in my life because just being able to have that celebration meant so much to me I remember as a little girl my aunt she used to host like the best Christmases her house was like beautiful she would cook and she had like this beautiful family and it was just like as a little girl I remember vividly like wanting that craving that like desiring that and that just goes to show like God knows the desires of your heart, even the things that aren't even voiced, even the things that you don't say out loud. Like God heard me in that moment as a little girl and to see it literally coming to pass is it's evidence of God's hand, of God's work, of God's grace, of God's love. Like he is a father who loves us and who knows what we need. And it just felt really good to be able to host our first Christmas and have our friends and family around and be able to you know give gifts and just give love and all of that so it was really really good and now we are locked in for the new year girl now that all this holiday stuff is like almost over girl it's time to get into it it's time to plan for 2024 so the rest of this vlog is really just going to be 2024 prep because I'm not going into 2024 looking crazy. I'm not going into 2024 without a plan. So I'm going to make like my vision board. I'm going to be doing all the things because I need to make sure we are set in stone and things are good and things are in order and the house is in order because, girl, this is going to be our year. And the biggest thing for me is like I'm trying to get back on my health journey, my fitness journey. I just talked to my trainer and we are going to be starting the first week of Jan. I 
go to the doctor this Friday to get cleared um, just to make sure everything's good, everything healed up, and then I'm clear to work out. So it'll be six weeks on Friday for me. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, girl. So today we really just have some stuff to do at the house um i have this tiktok ad to film but that's really about it so we're gonna get some lunch go back home jenna is home from school all week so i want to do something fun with her i want to do some day out with just me and her just a little mommy's order you see it'll be real real cute well really not a mommy's order date because ezra has to come because i'm breastfeeding <laughs> it is what it is i want to just take the kids out by themselves and we do something they have like a little um playland but i feel like that gives like all 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 aboard like i need all hands on deck if we are going out like that like if we're going to like a little playland if we're going to like a little museum i'm gonna need my husband to sit beside me because i i can't like <laughs> i need help so we might do that that actually sounds kind of fun um we'll probably do that thursday or something but this week is just about resetting getting in the mindset of new year new me new year improve me like i feel like i did that last year and this was a really good year for me so let's make it even better let's have a really good productive year let's actually do the things that we said we're gonna do i think that's the biggest thing for me like i'm not about the chitter chatter i'm about the action this year these nails are so cute like i was gonna go get my nails done this week y'all y'all know i was about to go hit up my girl amy but i'm like mm, hold on and then i just ordered that glue off of amazon that makes your nails stay for really really long i think i might be a press on girly for real for real um, but I do want to do a little bit of beauty maintenance. I ordered some lashes because your girl's looking bald in the face. Like, not having lashes on is really a crazy situation for me. Um, so I'll do my lashes and I might go get a wax and um, get my eyebrows waxed and do all types of stuff. But let's go get some food because your girl's hungry. Say a when I wake up in the morning. Lord, I need you now. Lord, I need you now. Yeah. When I'm with you, you got me feeling like I'm so. Genesis decides she wants to eat today. We're still on this whole toddler defiant <laughs> era. Um, I'm just gonna give her some of my bowl because he's probably not gonna eat it. I don't like little brown looking, um, what's it called? Brown looking, what's it called? Girl, guac. Like it never gave brown guac. She loves black beans, though. I'll say that. She loves black beans, so I'll give her some black beans, some regular white rice, and then a little bit of chicken. She's I laid out a meal yesterday, y'all. You want to know what Jenna's say for dinner? <laughs> oatmeal. <laughs> like, oatmeal has never been that good, Genesis. Like, please be for real, girl. It's never been that good. But let's see. Maybe she'll eat this. She hasn't ate lunch yet, so maybe she's hungry enough. But my thing is, at school, when they be sending me the, her little updates, it says Genesis ate her whole lunch. I am very much side-eyeing them because are y'all just saying that? Because I know my daughter. And the stuff y'all be making, y'all be making like beef quesadillas with veggies. <laughs> I'm like, I know she did not eat that, so why are y'all lying to me? I really should go sit in on one of their lunches and see if they're lying because don't be saying my baby's eating if she's not eating. On my bowls, I get white rice, white rice, chicken, queso, veggies, tomatoes, green salsa, extra corn, um, and then guac. And it be good and hitting every single time. So, no, ma'am. We're about to eat lunch. Um, let's see if Jennifer eats her little meal. And I will give y'all, I'll give y'all all the updates here. Say, Father God, thank you for this food. Thank you for blessing me. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Here's your beans, you love. Jenna, that's your lunch. So you got to eat that. Diaper, diaper, diaper. What's up, y'all? It is a little bit later. We've been trying to finish Married at First Sight. It's like, girl, how many episodes are y'all about to drag out? Like, 
We get it. Y'all didn't work out. We get it. Some of y'all are crazy. Like, y'all trying to do the reunion. Then the reunion, reunion. Then the what's happened after that. Then the let's see where they're at now. Then the let's see where they're at later. Like, girl, give it up. We get it. You want to go to the store? Y'all, we about to go to Sprouts to get some vegetables to make dinner. We're really trying to commit to two meatless meals a week. So I think today's going to be one of those days. We might do a stir fry. I'm not quite sure. But Javon's probably going to be the one who ends up cooking. Today was really chill though. We really didn't do much. Ah. It's honestly ah. like a pretty chill week because everything's still kind of like closed down business wise until the first. So it's been like real chill. I will. <laughs> Can I put this on you, baby girl? Let me see. This is one of her pullovers. Y'all been loving her um, little sweatsuits and stuff. I showed y'all last vlog. They were from Timu. I think I'm going to place another order because they were so cute and they're just so easy to put on. I think I'm going to put some leggings on with this one though. Oh. And I just pumped for Genesis. Well, I really just pumped, but I gave it to Genesis. And I literally got so much milk. I was going to show y'all, but then I forgot. But um, I'm about to finish getting Genesis ready and dressed and everything. But we're going to go to Sprouts and get some food for dinner. My baby girl is so cute. Say hi. Hi, aunties. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. I feel like I'm moving up in life. Shopping at Sprouts is a different experience, y'all. I'm telling you. It's like a higher end Aldi or Trader Joe. And it definitely gives the girls what it needs to. What are you thinking yeah. for dinner, boo? Creative. And then we're... Exactly. What? <coughs> what do you want to eat? <coughs> also, update. Genesis ate about 10 beans for lunch, so that is definitely improvement from what it usually is. What? You're hungry? Okay, baby, we're gonna eat some. We landed on making vegan crab cakes. So Javon's gonna do like a mushroom remix on some crab cakes. We're gonna do it with white rice with some a homemade sauce. Javon's really been like <laughs> on this kick and I'm really proud of us and I'm proud of him because he's been expanding his cooking palette a lot. So it should be good girl let's go home and cook hey girl good morning sing it's a new day i really told y'all i was about to cook with you yesterday and i really just ate and went to sleep girl it was too much like javon chefed up this bomb these bomb crab cakes like my man my man my man is really a chef like i really lucked out in life he literally has been chefing it up like i cannot i cannot lie i cannot lie but um we just ate and then we went to sleep we've been chilling finally finished married at first sight girl they, i told you they done dragged it out dragged it through the mud like finally got through that uh, basically half the couple's divorced so it was just like i knew y'all was fronting when y'all said uh, you was gonna stay together on decision day. I knew it was a lie, especially Mark and Lindsay, because y'all were definitely getting toxic. <laughs> I cannot, but y'all, I was just sitting here and I just had this random thought and I really had to tell y'all about it. When it comes to motherhood, the first year I remember feeling like such a fake. Like, I remember feeling like I had no idea what I was doing, which I didn't. I remember feeling like when I was trying to like gentle parent, it literally would like make me cringe where I was just like, girl, this is not even you. But I literally faked it until I made it. It's about to be a word for somebody. When things are foreign, and when you are breaking generational curses, it's going to feel uncomfortable and you may even feel like a fake during the process. But when you continue in it and when you make it a habit and when it becomes habitual in your life, there's going to be a day where it feels normal. So where once motherhood felt foreign, it felt uncomfortable, it felt like I had no idea what I was doing, I felt like a fraud, I now feel comfortable and confident in it because I continued through the discomfort. So there are some things that come up in our life where we're faced to ch make a change, we're faced to either continue in what we know or we're faced to 
go a different direction. And the thing with going a different direction is it's not going to feel comfortable. It's going to feel like unknown territory. But there's going to come a day when that unknown territory becomes familiar. So I was just sitting here and the way I've just been talking to Genesis is finally starting to feel like, oh no, this is actually who you are. Like it's not a front anymore. You being gentle and you listening to her emotions and you helping to calm her down. It's no longer something that feels uncomfortable. It's no longer something that feels foreign. It's now something that I just am. Like I, I, I am able to talk her through her emotions and feel confident about it. Like, I don't know, that just, it just hit me so deep y'all because it's something I've always struggled with with motherhood. I just felt like I felt like there was a lot of moms who naturally just had this thing about them where it was easy for them to nurture. It was easy for them to sacrifice. It was easy for them to just be all of these things. And for me, like it just felt so much harder. It felt so much harder to say goodbye to my old life. It felt so much harder to sacrifice. It felt so much harder to 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 every single day basically lay down my life for my children but now it feels so easy because I continued in it like I continued through the fire I pushed through the discomfort and literally after the discomfort there comes peace there comes understanding there comes wisdom and I just feel so much more confident about motherhood and there's going to be more ebbs and flows like I'm not always going to feel this way but right now in this moment I'm just feeling like just so blessed and I feel so happy that I didn't allow those initial feelings of motherhood to become my normal and that's what a lot of women can do is initially when they become moms it's like this is this is so different it's a drastic life change that they now think that this is going to be their life forever they these feelings are going to be their feelings forever but feelings change y'all and where I once felt overwhelmed and where I once felt like it was a burden, let's be honest, sometimes kids feel like a burden. I now understand that they are a blessing. And I now understand they are literally, biblically, a gift from God. And what the world wants you to think about motherhood is that motherhood is a burden. Children are a burden. Your life is going to be horrible. You'll never be able to have you time. And everything about your perspective will dictate how motherhood is for you. If your perspective tells you that this is a burden, if your perspective tells you that this sucks, if your perspective tells you that these kids are annoying, that's going to be how you live out motherhood. It was really about changing my perspective that these children are a gift, a literal packaged gift from God. And how I steward that gift is up to me. That's just where I'm at right now with motherhood. It feels so because I really, there were times where I'm just like, is this how I'm going to feel about it all the time? Am I going to feel like, you know, just so overwhelmed and heavy burdened by this? Or is there going to be a time where I feel happy and I feel genuinely like like I, I can enjoy motherhood and I'm there right now? So whoever is going through the fire right now, whether you're a new mom, whether you have kids for years, like just know there if your perspective it's positive there's gonna be a day when you wake up and you're like I absolutely love this and I think that's where I'm at right now and it just feels like such a blessing and Ezra just fell asleep while I was talking because it must have been boring that's where I'm at y'all today is gonna be very much chill I'm actually filming another video for y'all I'm doing a little 24 hours with a newborn so I can't really hop on the vlog that much because that defeats the purpose of a 24 hours with a newborn. So I'll honestly probably talk to y'all tomorrow. We do have some more running around to do. I will probably talk to y'all tomorrow. I just had to get that little word off my chest for some mama who's out there struggling because I know going through your go through is real, but you're going to come out of it. You're going through it. You're not staying in it, okay? But I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Good morning, grouts. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. I'm feeling blessed in the city i'm feeling blessed in the field i feel really good on this morning probably because i got a little bit of sleep chill ezra only woke up like twice last night my hair looks crazy but we gonna fix that um so i just feel refreshed i feel good i feel ready i feel energized i feel good but i just want to hop on here and talk to y'all because i didn't forget about the giveaway girl i i didn't forget about the giveaway don't you worry so one, I want to thank everybody who entered. I literally read every single comment and it, there's people still commenting, but obviously I'm announcing the giveaway winner now, so I can't take their comments into consideration. But as of today, December 28th, I'm picking the winner and the winner is going to be Ari the Creative. I really loved your message, girl. It just made my heart so happy. So I'm going to be DMing you on Instagram so you can claim your hygiene bundle. 
but don't lose hope girl because it's another giveaway okay and i'm super super excited for this one so the giveaway for this vlog is going to be a 500 dollars giveaway to one of my girls i've been wanting to do something like this for y'all for so long so i'm so excited that i finally can so to answer this giveaway all you have to do is comment below what should we comment tell me the goal that you're trying to pursue that's what i want you to comment and then you have to be subscribed to my channel following my instagram and subscribe to the graves house channel that's the only way to enter this giveaway so again comment below the goal you're trying to pursue Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my family channel, which is The Graves House. Follow me on Instagram. But yeah, I'm gonna leave the directions in the comments. Well, not in the comments, but I'll leave the directions in the description for y'all, just in case you forget. But that is how you're gonna enter the $500 giveaway. Again, I will be reading the comments and I'm gonna pick somebody and I will be DMing you on Instagram. I'm gonna announce the giveaway next vlog and then I'm gonna DM you on Instagram. If you do not get a DM from the real Maya Graves. Is it the real Maya Graves? No, from the Maya Graves on Instagram, okay? No dots, no underscores, no nothing. The Maya Graves. I got, what, 52 point something thousand followers? If, if it's not that, it's not me. I'm not gonna be messaging you on no Telegram. I'm not gonna be messaging you on no WhatsApp. It is gonna be a direct <laughs> DM from my Instagram. I've been using Genesis Little Leave-In Conditioner and it has been working so good on these braids. But that is how to enter the giveaway and I'm super excited to bless one of y'all with $500. I know the holiday seasons just came so I know people got hit with a lot of bills and a lot of unexpected stuff so hopefully this can bless somebody but yeah that's going to be the giveaway of this vlog. But on this morning I'm getting dressed because me and Javon are about to go to Target. Our bed just came in because y'all was Somebody commented, hold on. <laughs> Somebody commented yesterday and was like, um, you do know full size and queen size are the same. That's incorrect. Loud and wrong. <laughs> Just needed to say that. But anyways, we're going to Target so we can find a new comforter. Um, I Right now I'm using the Brooklyn in one, but girl, I don't know if it's just me. I just feel like the Brooklyn in one, you can't, it doesn't breathe. I have like the Dawn, um, what's it called? The, what's it called? Duvet? <laughs> I have the, the, the down, girl, it's some feathers in there. That's all I know. Sometimes them feathers be poking out and it's just not breathable. Like I literally be sweating in that comforter. So I'm like, listen, it was giving new bed, new comforter. So we're gonna go to Target, get a new comforter. And then I also gotta get some stuff for the kids. So yeah, that's kind of the vibe for today. Today's honestly another office day, another editing day. I've really been on my grind. So I've been having more like office days which kind of sucks for the vlog because we can't really go out and about, but it's okay. Because I know that I'm like bulking up in January and then things will kind of slow down in February. So it's all right. We'll be back on the block very much soon. I want to do something new. I want to do a claw clip with this for like a little, a little clean gill. <laughs> a little clean gill look. Let's see twist up i like these claw clips they're from i don't know but they're supposed to be indestructible but they're really good for box braids why did i say box braids that sounded mad okay i'm gonna need you to flow a little bit better than that girl i guess How, what's it giving from the side and please don't embarrass me i mean Hopefully, when these dry, they become a little bit more poofy, which I like, but I always be having to wet them in the morning so it don't look like crazy. There's a little knot here on the end. Y'all, I don't know why, but I'm starting to like see so much of myself in Genesis now, and it's not even like look-wise. Like, I think she looks like me when I was little, but it's more so personality. Like, this little girl is just like hilarious. Literally, acts exactly how I used to act, and it's just so crazy that it's basically like a reincarnated you, <laughs> but it's a whole other person, so yeah. This edge brush is absolutely disgusting. Like, does anybody else have one that is just horrible, but it, it, it lays like no other. Like, if I go get a new one, this, it's not gonna have the buildup that I need. <laughs> it's not gonna have the buildup that I need to really get this edge to slick. I'm a like two edge girl. I've always been a two edge girl. I feel like with my hairline, <clears throat> that's just what works because I have like a widow's peak so I cannot do anything 
but two edges. And hopefully Javon puts the bed together tonight so I can be giving the girls, I was about to say queen, giving the girls king, very much king. Let's go. By the water. Come on. I'll be satisfied. My holy father. By the water, I'll be satisfied. Girl, I'm just feeling good. I'm feeling the vibes. I'm just feeling, like, so blessed. Like, I just feel really good. But we are at Target, and we're about to go grab this comforter. And then, I forgot, I've got my brows wax in this plaza before and she actually did a good job so i think i'm gonna go they're not horrible but i feel like i just need a little shape up because when my brows are too hard to fill in that's when i know i need to go get them done so i think i'm gonna go do that but let's go to tarjay girl let's just enjoy a little day out let's just enjoy the vibes let's just get have a good time together girl it's a beautiful day i just feeling blessed <laughs> body wash I want to get Genesis right now she's using the proudly and I'm just thinking of sticking with that but it's just like the honest looks so cute but then I smelt it it don't even smell like nothing like this is the sweet almond you think it would be like sweet and almondy it wasn't so it's just like I like this one so why switch it up you know maybe you can go with this but then I wanted to get her a bubble bath so I was like okay do they have a lavender because they got the lavender honest do they have a lavender bubble bath in the honest they didn't so now I'm at a crossroad because am I going to be giving her citrus vanilla and then putting lavender on her? These are the things that are conflicting me. Or I can do sweet almond, okay? Because I feel like sweet almond pairs better with lavender than citrus vanilla. But vanilla lavender actually kind of sounds like a vibe. I think we're going to do this. And then I grabbed a big old thing of the um, water wipes because... Both the babies are using those currently and we just be running through those things so i grabbed the biggest thing they had this brand is cute i am a sucker for packaging that's the problem yeah i don't know i don't know we really need to go to the home aisle though so let's go see if they have a comforter i found these towels from threshold they're like really oversized and they're affordable they're twelve dollars i feel like that's a good price for a good towel and they feel nice like they feel like hotel but then they have these ones for fourteen dollars down here and i'm trying to figure out what's the difference like they look exactly the same performance plush and then total fresh it's like y'all just be doing stuff i really don't feel they're both oversized though i guess this one has like the lines so it's supposed to be plushier you know, performance plus is the premium softness, total fresh controls odor. Oh, girl, it's a whole sign telling me exactly what it is up here. <laughs> like, I want a soft towel. Yeah, that's what I want. This is the plush, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get a couple of these. I feel like towels are really good investments, especially like when you're growing up, you're getting your own apartment. Get a good towel. I went cheap on towels when I first got my own place, and I ended up having to buy all new towels because you need a good towel. Y'all got too many options, seriously. Oh no, the spa, the spa plush. But is it as big as this? No, this one's bigger. I have to go with the bigger one. I have to go with my gut on this. <laughs> it's giving white. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Like, it's literally always gave white. Like, I just don't know what else to do. And I feel like I'm one who just wants to play it safe. I might spruce it up with, like, the pillows. But I just need, like, a comfy, plush, white comforter. I do need to get some... See, my thing is, why are y'all selling these in one? Like, who's paying $15 for one, what's it called? I need a sheet set. I need, like, a, um, I do like my Brooklyn, like, fitted sheet and, um, whatever the other sheet's called. But I need, like, pillowcases. I don't know why. I think this is what we're gonna go with. It's from Threshold. It's the Double Flange Jamero Stitch Comforter Set. 
let's hope it looks good because this junk is like super overpriced but I'm learning the benefit of investing on the front end so you don't have to invest again because I've literally gotten so many comforters because I've been trying to be cheap but we're just going to invest and hope this works out. <laughs> Yeah.